Hello, I'm Mark Brown and I graduated from Purdue in 1973 with a Bachelor of Science from the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics. My story begins in Valparaiso, Indiana, where as a young man growing up all I really wanted to be was a pilot. But I found out, thanks to my high school counselors, that in order to do so I would need to go to college and get a degree. Because my family did not have the finances to pay for college, I applied through the Air Force for an ROTC scholarship and was thrilled when I found out in the summer of 1969 that I had won one and would be going to Purdue in the fall. When I arrived in the fall, it was exciting for a variety of reasons, but one of the big ones was that Neil Armstrong had just walked on the surface of the moon. And in 1970, he came back and received an honorary doctorate, and I was in the arena and watched that take place. Every day when I would go to classes in, in Grissom Hall, I would pass a life-size photograph of Gus. And knowing that Neil was from a small town in Ohio called Wapakoneta, and that Gus was from a small town, Mitchell, Indiana, sent a, a very clear message to me and my fellow classmates that if we were willing to work hard, we could accomplish great things as well. Oddly, when I arrived at Purdue, like I said, I simply wanted to be a pilot, but very quickly fell in love with engineering. The faculty and staff in the aero department truly nurtured all of us and helped us uh, realize the difference between theory and practical applications in everything that we're being taught. A great example I like to give is from Dr. Henry Yang, who's my structures professor. I received one of my tests back from Dr. Yang, and on the top of it he wrote, Mark, you can do a better job than this. Well, I took that to heart and, and tried to do my best every day at Purdue and in my professional career thereafter. After I left Purdue, I was commissioned into the Air Force and became a fighter pilot and flew fighters for a number of years before I was sent to graduate school and received a master's in astronautical engineering from the Air Force Institute of Technology at Wright-Patterson. From there, I was sent to, by the Air Force to NASA in Houston, where I worked as an engineer on the beginning of the Space Shuttle program. In 1984, I was selected as an astronaut and flew twice on the Space Shuttle, the first time in 1989 and the second time in 1991. After that, I was the lead astronaut on the space station program until I retired from NASA and the Air Force in 1993. From there, I went into industry and worked my way up through a number of different corporations and ultimately became the president of MTC Technologies in Dayton, Ohio, until I retired after they were acquired by BAE Systems. I'm very appreciative of Purdue and the faculty and staff of the Aero and Astro Department for teaching me the practical applications of everything that I learned as opposed to just the theory because that practical applications is what served me so well throughout my entire professional career. Thank you and happy 75th anniversary.